She's tennis royalty, and she used her power to fight for equal pay. Meet Venus Williams. Venus and her younger sister, Serena, were raised in Compton, California. Their father, Richard, had big aspirations for his daughters. My dad is a really special kind of guy. He's the only person I know who planned his two daughters to be number one and two in the world in tennis before they were born. And then it actually happens. Go figure, that's pretty crazy. When Venus went pro at 14, she exuded unabashed confidence. I think I have the game to beat anyone. I'm here to play my hardest and not believe that someone's better. Very few were better. In 2000, Venus won Wimbledon, the US Open, and not one, but two Olympic gold medals. But perhaps the biggest challenge she faced was racism. Umpires and players called her beaded hair a distraction. I'm gonna promise no one is distracted. I am not causing a disturbance here. And in 2001, she and her father faced racial insults after she pulled out of a tournament in Indian Wells, California. It was a very tense situation here. I've never seen anything like this in a tennis game. But she persevered. Venus was only the second black woman to be ranked number one in the world. She won seven Grand Slam singles titles, and along with Serena, 14 Grand Slam doubles titles. Venus also challenged the status quo off the court. In 2006, she called out organizers of Wimbledon for paying the women players less than the men. They changed the rules, and when Venus won Wimbledon the following year, she earned as much prize money as Roger Federer. She's also played through considerable pain. In 2011, she was diagnosed with Sjogren's syndrome, an autoimmune disease. I've had to come to accept what I'm going through, and that's a, a tough stage, acceptance, and it's just been a really emotional journey. But for Venus, tennis isn't everything. She has her own fashion line and a design firm focused on hotel interiors. I went to school for fashion design, it took me eight years to get out of there. I'm in, in charge of the whole creative process, so nothing goes ahead unless, you know, I've approved it. Venus Williams, a quality advocate, entrepreneur, and tennis legend. At the end of the day, I'm very happy that I've been able to live my dream. I'm happy that um, I've hopefully been able to represent myself in a way that is upbuilding and unembarrassing. All those things, and that I don't really need more than that.